What is up my new Vim friends? Today I'm going to show you the most requested two plugins that I get on the channel and something that you can use to improve your UI experience and give you some really sweet command line features. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome and I hope you like the content. If you do, hit that like button and then consider subscribing especially if you like NeoVim content. Essentially what I'm going to be showing you today is this nice command line outline. Whenever I hit colon, then this pops up. So if I have nothing and I hit colon, you can see it pop up. Then whenever I start typing, so something like creating a new file, I can do that. Or if I want to open an existing file, I get this really nice auto completion on my file path. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. First plugin that we should talk about is none other than nice.invim. And it's probably no surprise that this is one of the most requested plugins and it's authored by none other than the great Folky. Definitely give him a shout out on Twitter if you see him or you want to just shout him out. If you're using nice or trouble.invim or lazy.invim, which is the preferred package manager that I use, or which key or the Tokyo Night theme, you already have a taste of some of his great contributions. The specific question I get usually is, how do you get this nice command line? And TLDR, just install nice.invim and set it up. It'll give you some great defaults, and you can do that using this config right here. Once you have Nice installed using your favorite package manager, which hopefully is lazy.invim, then you should see a lot of different things show up whenever you restart NeoVim. The first one that you should obviously see is the command line, and that should pop up whenever you hit colon. And whenever you write something, so if you write, then you should see some messages pop up in your top right hand corner. For me personally, a lot of those messages can get overwhelming, especially if you have a few failures that happen. So I've added this key mapping to dismiss them whenever they get overwhelming. So I just hit leader in D. And so if I write something, leader in D will dismiss that right away. Another really sweet feature is some virtual text. So if you search for a string, so if I search for nice using forward slash, then you can see on the end, the number of occurrences and which one that I'm on. So if I hit in, I go to the next one, you can see that number increment, which is really nice to see instead of it being in the lower bottom hand corner. Generally, what I like about nice is it brings everything up to eye level, brings it up higher so I don't have a crick in my neck to look down all the time and see exactly what's going on. If you have telescope configured, then you can add this load extension, which will give you a nice telescope feature to look at all the nice messages that have happened. So if you do telescope nice, you can see all the different messages that have come up and you, you can inspect them in this nice fuzzy finder. If you want to use a different set of commands, you can do nice first and to see the first message or nice last to see the last message. And then if you wanted to see all your messages, you do messages like this and it'll pop up in this bottom menu right here. Those are just a few of the really cool features from nice and check it out, install it. And once you have that, you will get that nice command line. Next up, I'll show you how to get some auto completion so that you can auto complete your file paths whenever you're looking for different files. The second piece to our puzzle here for getting a nice command line with auto completion is to install the CMP command line plugin. Now I'm using LSP zero and you can check out my video on that on setting up LSP and auto completion here in the top right hand corner. Generally, you just wanna add this as another source for your auto completions. And I'll show you how to do that inside of my LSP file. I'll also mention that my config is linked down below if you just want to check out how I've done things. Let's jump over to the LSP file. And if we look for the command line, the two pieces of configs that you're interested in are this one to autocomplete on search. So you can see the forward slash and it'll complete in the buffer. And then this one, which will complete whenever you do that colon and look for everything in your path to autocomplete. Once you have all that set up, installed and configured, then restart NeoVim and you should see whenever you try to do E and something, you should get some auto completion happening. So from this point, if you want to cancel the auto complete, you can hit control E. And then if you want to exit out of the prompt entirely, you can hit control C. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video and enjoy this content, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. If you have suggestions on other things that you want me to cover, definitely leave a comment down below and I will put it on my list. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.